Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be looking at yet another highly anticipated release from Collecte, and it's going to be their Deluxe Kulusukis. Finally, one of the main companies decided to make a figure of this prehistoric amphibian. This species was long overdue since it became popular due to its appearance in BBC's Walking with Dinosaurs. In fact, there are so many well-known animals from the Walking With series that really need a larger size model, such as Ornithalestes, Leedsichthys, and Hyneria. Also, this Kulusukis is one of the very, very, very few prehistoric amphibian models. The only other one that comes to mind is the Bullyland Mastodonsaurus. And that's a shame, since amphibians have been on this planet for hundreds of millions of years, and there's so many unique looking species that would make a great figure, like Prionosuchus or Diplocolis. And those are the reasons why me and a lot of other collectors were very excited when collecting reveal their deluxe Kulusukis. Let's do some quick measurements with the flexible ruler. This figure is much bigger than you guys would think. From head to tail, it measures about 8 inches long, and it would probably be 8.5 inches long if its tail was fully stretched out. So Kulusukis was estimated to be around 3 meters or 9.8 feet in length, so with those measurements, it would be in the 114 scale range, as opposed to its advertised 120 scale. Moving on to the detailing, let's start off with the most eye-catching area, which is of course, the head sculpt. Looking at the head from the top, it is very round, though when you look at it from the side, it's quite flat. The teeth are very nicely sculpted, very intimidating. And then you've got the brown tongue on its bottom jaw, and looking at the upper jaw, there's surprisingly a lot of detailing. Just look at all those bumps and the extra teeth. And on the head, there's the glossy eyes and its two nostrils. And just look at all of those intricately sculpted scales all over the amphibian. It looks gorgeous. And on its short limbs, there's four digits on its arms and five round digits on its legs. Then you've got its rel relatively short eel-like tail. Moving down to the underside, the detailing is just as immense. And of course, you've got the cloaca slit. When this model was first revealed online back in November, many people didn't like how it had scales, since many amphibians are known for possessing smooth skin. However, a user on the Dinosaur Toy Forum named Halakiris posted a great reason about why Kulusukis may have had scales. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you guys want to read about it. Plus, a rough-skinned Kulusukis doesn't sound so implausible since many modern-day amphibians have rough skin such as toads and newts. I really enjoy the color scheme. It's plausible since Kulusukis inhabited freshwater environments. So it's primarily green. There's these neon green dots all over the top of the model. And then the tail fin is a swampy green and that same swampy green can be seen on the back and on the head. The hands and feet are brown, and the underside has a sandy color with a little bit of green mixed in. The pose is quite simple, but it's not boring at all. It looks like it's basking on the riverbank, especially with that wide open mouth. Starting off with our comparisons, let's bring in some non-dinosaur prehistoric reptiles since this Kulusukis is the only prehistoric amphibian in my collection. So here is the Collecte. Deluxe Smock, a very nice model, and the Collecte Adaposaurus. Let's bring in a couple of Safari LTD figures. The Shringosaurus, the Postosuchus, the Prestosuchus, and the Sarcosuchus. Next, we have the absolutely magnificent Rebor Dinosuchus. Next up is the Rebor Titanoboa. Here is the awesome Papo Caprosuchus. Now let's bring in some of the other Collecte 2023 figures that I have, starting off with the marvelous Mosasaurus. Here is the Shastasaurus, the Ceratosuchops, the Brystonius, and the Hadrosaurus. And here is the giant Ruyangosaurus. Now let's bring out three of my favorite Collecte figures, 
All of them are deluxes. Here is the Ceratosaurus, the Carnotaurus, and the Edmontosaurus Regalis. Of course, we gotta bring in a T-Rex figure. So here is the Beast of the Mesozoic 135 scale Tyrannosaurus Rex. Last but not least, here is the Kulosuchus next to the Collecte Xyphactinus and the Collecte Mini Xyphactinus. When it comes to making underrepresented prehistoric animals like these, we can always rely on Collecte to do that. Well, there you have it everyone. That was my review on the Collecte 2023 Deluxe Kulosuchus. This prehistoric amphibian figure is just nothing short of spectacular. Pretty much everything about it is fantastic. From the crispy detailing to the plausible coloration, the size, the durable material, and its scientific accuracy. And like I've said before, we finally have a Kulosuchus model. It's so satisfying to see a mass-produced prehistoric amphibian figure in the dinosaur toy market. Now hopefully, the next one will be a Cryonosuchus. So I'm going to give this Kulosuchus a 10 out of 10. Definitely one of my favorite Collecte models for this year, and one of my favorite Collecte models ever. I highly recommend this figure. If you want one for yourself, you can buy it off of Minizoo, which is where I got mine. I don't know when Everything Dinosaur and D. Jenkins are going to get them. So if you guys enjoyed this review, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, it really supports my channel. And I will see you all in the next video.